villagers and fishermen in Mwanko determined to right the wrongs of the past. Stalks of mangroves, locally called matanda, been transported and planted to replace lost population destroyed for firewood. For years, a mangrove restoration program supported by the Cameron Wildlife Conservation Society, the CWCS, has come to give hope to the future generations yet to be born. The activity is completely a community affair. The community are really involved in such a way that they, they have been organized in, in groups. Yes, you have uh, women groups, you have uh, men groups. The women are involved in uh, collecting material, planting materials such as uh, propagules and uh, also putting them in polypots for the nursery and also filling the polypots. Yes, so that is uh, most of the work that women do. Men are involved in uh, also collecting material, planting material, but after collecting material, they will go to the clearing. You have to prepare the space, arrange everything, remove the dirt, and now come to the planting. And when it is time to, to, for planting, everybody is involved. Fisherman Ongene Oswald says the mangrove restoration efforts have been paying off with improved fish catch since he joined the process three years ago. Since I got involved in planting the matanda, fish catch has improved. We now catch different species such as mashwaran, dart, in fact, different types. The biodiversity of the area has equally been restored. The biodiversity of the area is, has been restored. You have crabs, you have uh, fish as itself, you have uh, other species like birds, like monkeys. For decades, fishing has been a way of life for the people of Mwanko and other villages off the shores of Vuri River in Cameron's economic capital. Lele Zachary, 72 years old, recalls the days when fishermen made good cash just a few meters away from the village. When I arrived here some years back, there was much fish. Fishermen used to bring much fish to the market, but today, there is no more fish. But fishing soon became perilous following vast destruction of the Vuri coastline mangrove forest. In the last decade, the Vuri River in Rwola has lost about a fifth of its mangrove forest area, exposing its coastline to ravages of the ocean, shrinking the nursery grounds of aquatic life and exposing the ecosystem to climatic change hazards. Most mangrove areas are highly degraded. The invasive plant you see just right behind me is popularly known as the Nipa palm. It's an invasive plant that comes all the way from Nigeria that has invaded the mangrove area here in Yupwe, Douala Litua region of Cameroon. Now, according to scientific research, this particular invasive species thrives only where mangroves have been degraded. Their presence thus here in Yupwe is indicative of how degraded the mangroves of Yupwe have become today. Dr. Gordon Adjonina of the CWC says the depletion of mangroves has gone too far because the population use it for the livelihood such as smoking fish. Uh, the human factors, uh, the fact that this is a very important fishing port, in fact important fishing zone. We are more than 80% of the population here are involved in fishing. So the, the immediate consequences of fishing activities is the way looking for the means of preserving a large fish catch. Over 2,000 metric tons of fish are smoked here. So all that with mangrove wood. Despite their importance, mangroves are being chopped down to near extinction. The depletion of mangroves has also been worsened with multiple private and governmental developmental projects along the coastline in the last three years. The constructions of uh, some factories like uh, cement factories and other factories uh, around uh, Bonaberry or Douala has affected mangroves in such a way that they, 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 most of the space that mangroves were, were standing there has been occupied by those companies. 
to remedy the situation. Thus, the CWCS, in collaboration with other conservation organizations, have planted the mangroves in all the four mangrove blocks, from the Ntem Estuary to the Tiko Estuary. To further help the fishing community against future mangrove destruction, the CWCS has developed an energy-efficient oven for women in these areas to smoke fish. Wood. The quantity of wood is considerably reduced from 40 to 60 percent, which means that 60, 40 to 60 percent reduction in deforestation rate. The women of Mwanko say this oven has been very helpful and cuts down on stress and wood used. We used to waste a lot of wood. We used to waste a lot of energy to find wood to come with it here. But now it is reduced. We are not wasting a lot of energy. We just use a, a, a little wood and it don't give us strength. Mangroves are a vital ecosystem. Not only are they a herb for fish reproduction, we can hardly breed in the deep sea because of hostile conditions, but the mangrove ecosystem play a vital role in combating the effects of climate change, sequestrating five times the amount of carbon as compared to terrestrial forests. Aware of this importance, the Cameron government in 2018 transformed the Douala Edea Reserve into Cameron's first marine national park. But doubts remain over effective implementation of the decree which should protect several hectares of mangroves. The restoration program thus remains a major glimmer of